Hey guys, Will. Just done prepping. How you guys doing? Let me turn this light away from you a little bit. There, there we go. Now it's not right in my face. So, I have a mail call here. Let me try to cover this most, the important part up, okay? <clears throat> but he wrote right on there what's in there. You can see it right here. Try to cover his name up. There we go. Don't want anybody to know his address without his permission. So, we know this here is going to be from the old man. And he sent me some beeswax. So, I'm excited to get in here and look at it. Uh, we'll do it together, okay? I have one other call, too. Mail call after this one. But this is the one I am excited about. Get that out of the way. I can just rip into it. I've already got it. Address, so. Oh, look at there. We have dog food. <laughs> Good job, old man. Oh, by the way, the old man sent this to me. <laughs> Garbage. Well, made sure it wasn't going to come apart for sure. Yeah. Chicken grilled flavor. <laughs> My dogs love that crap, that stuff. Let's see what we got. Get into it. I should have opened it before I started the camera, but I was just really excited. I didn't expect to have it already. He told me he was sending it. Here we go. I think I figured it out. Razor knife will work wonders. Here we go. Oh man. This looks pretty good. I'm not going to take... Oh, it smells really good. Shoot. I am not going to take it out of there, but I will, uh, I'll take one out, but I'm going to show you. It is plum full of beeswax. He sent it to me because I want to make some fire starters and maybe possibly try to make some candles, too. Oh, man. Good stuff. Look at there. Beeswax, a whole box of it so we can play around. Oh man, I can't wait now. I'm excited. Looks like two, four, six, eight, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four chunks of this for us to play with. Oh, I can't wait. I am really excited. You just don't know. I'm gonna put that back in there. But me and the old man were talking after we did the paraffin trick with the fat wood, you know, and I said, man, he started saying, man, you should have tried beeswax, Will. So I said, well, I don't have any. If you know where I can get some. He said, well, I've got some. So look at there. He sent me a whole box. I cannot believe it. Whoo! Thanks, old man. We're going to have a heyday with this. We're going to be able to make mega videos now we'll make some paraffin with fat wood shavings in there and we'll make some candles we'll try to make some candles out of it and see how it works so i want to thank you guys <coughs> oh man especially i got one other mail call and i ordered this in the mail but i want to kind of show it off get rid of this for a minute i don't want to lose it because i'm interested in getting busy with it all right, here's the other thing. I got this off of Amazon for, let's see, I think it was about six, six or seven bucks. And most of you probably know what this is, but I'm going to show you. It is actually a camp stove. You guys know about these. It's teeny tiny, and you can fit it right into your backpack. Just toss it in there. So, see, it opens up just by sliding these around till they won't go anymore. And then, if you look, see right here, these things are going in for smaller pots, like a coffee pot or something. But if you have something bigger, these just 
flip out like that, and now you've got a bigger, bigger area to fit a bigger pot on. Now this here part it folds up for storage, but it is actually for the flame heights, okay? So you get this on the bottle, and it just screws in the containers. I have the containers ordered, but they haven't come yet. But anyway, I'm going to try to get you guys to see this here. It's electronic. And it's electronic starter, so you don't have to have matches or anything, a lighter. I'm going to try to get it to work without that light being there. So let's see, i got to turn it just a little bit for you. See if you can see it there. Maybe right there. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up here for you. See if you can see that. Come on. Anyway, it throws out a good spark. I was hoping the camera would pick it up, but it doesn't. But it throws out a good enough spark to light this thing. And the best thing about it is all you have to do to put it away is just slide these around like this. See, now it's just ready for storage. And then you just flip this up like that. It's all ready to go back in the box. Costs, uh, I think it was six or seven bucks. And then I think the little tin things I buy, the fuel things that screw onto it down here, they they range in different prices, but the ones I ordered were like three thirty nine each. So I ordered two of them. That way I can try it out and then try it out with you guys and try it out by myself, you know. And it just fits right back in there. See, it's a nice little fit. So I've been wanting one of these for a while. I have a bigger one that I bought uh, several years ago. It's it uh, holds the regular size bo propane bottle that you screw it into, but it will hold an actual, when you get it, the little pieces folded out, it's a Coleman. So when you get the little pieces folded out, it, you could set a coffee pot, a pan, uh, a frying pan on this, on this other one I have. But I can't find it out in the garage, and I wanted to... Uh, not worry about it. Maybe somebody got off with it, you know, because I had it in plain sight. But this is even lighter. The, the other one I have goes in a bigger case to hold it uh, from getting busted up and stuff. But this is much smaller. So I'll take this, just pitch it right into the bag. Take the little canisters, and they are not very heavy either. So just pitch the, a couple of those in, head out, and you could use them camping bugging out, bugging in, whatever, and it's, I'd say it weighs less than a pound, can't beat it, anyway, that's what I have for the mail call, and look there, I got it all done in eight minutes, I can't believe it, good timing, all right, uh, thanks for watching, as usual, you guys know I can't do any of this without you, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, you guys have made my journey well worth it. I couldn't do it without you guys, so it's God bless you. God bless me. God bless USB. Till next time, I'll see you out there.